Where is it that you can go right now on a Catholic retreat and not be in the chapel and be scandalized? We need to have an authentic place for traditional Catholics to come and pray. We keep, we keep talking about virtue and holiness, and I tell you, you're required to stay out there to suffer and to die for our Lord. That's what you have to do. I get to go back to the friary, and I have to suffer and die in the friary, but all the woes of the world tend to be eliminated from us in religious life. We don't have to think about that. People call us and they say, you know how bad it is? I have no idea. I'm out there taking care of chickens. I mean, we're taking care of the chickens. We got bees. I got to go pray, all right? So this is the stuff we do, and it's a beautiful way of life, and, and, and we, need, we need religious to do it because it attains grace, and we, we hope that grace is helping you become holy in the world. That's why we do these talks. That's why we have the third order. But one of the things we've said from the very beginning is we need a place for you when the world runs you down because you're you're not to go and live in some commune. Your job's to be out there in the world and to let the world see Christ. But how can we require that of you if we don't give you a place where you can come and pray, where we can put you on retreat, where we can bring your children and put them in and have a camp for them? There has to be a spiritual center where we friars can be to receive you all year round. This, this property just came available at the bottom of our driveway. And they want they want $500,000 for the property. So I, I was like, well, this is obviously, I think this is a bit much for us. But we went down, looked at the property. And after we walked that property, we realized we need to obtain this property. And we need to obtain it for the third order. Um, it has, it, it's out where we're at on the mountain, we're getting requests all the time to do a youth camp. We're getting requests for, uh, you know, some of you have requested, but I even get people just kind of hear our talks and things that are entering into the third order. They want to come on retreat, but we only have that kind of house that we're in. We want to build some hermitages, but we don't, we have to do it like on the other, we haven't been able to do that just yet. Maybe by the end of the summer, we'll be able to do something, but then that's only big enough for like one person. Everything's kind of a cliff there, so there's no place for parking even if we build a chapel. So we're not sure what to do up there. So when we went down and looked at this property, it's just at the bottom of the hill. It actually has flat spots. It has three major flat spots and a road that goes right between them all. It's got gushing water on both ends of the property. Gushing water. So as we started looking at it, I went to bed mm, two nights ago and it dawned on me, Gideon, Gideon was able to conquer an entire army with only 300 men. And our third order now is basically 300. Now we have all kinds of associates, but basically we have 300 third order. So I, I went and I did some calculations. If we, if we were able to have, if the third order could get together on this, and they were able to, to provide, the way I looked at it is this, it's like, well, you know, I was, I was actually talking to Brother Michael and we were talking about the thing and, and, and it turns out for the, for the, basically the price of a coffee, because we were talking about how when we, when we travel, when I go visit some of the third orders in different places, they, they're always buying me coffee. So I started thinking about, it. I was like, well, if we had 300 people give me a coffee every day, just one coffee every day, 300 people for a year that property's purchased but if we want to put up a retreat center and we know we need this because we're renting out protestant retreat centers now and we have no place to have a family retreat where we can bring your kids because we're, our third order is predominantly i would say young people with large families now we're being asked to do a kids camp which we're going to have the boys come but we can't do anything for girls so when we saw this and realized just right there, it's not a massive, it's an 85 acre plot of land that's just magnificent. Why can't we just buy it? Why can't we just build a retreat center there? I think through our third order, and maybe you all can tell me if I'm wrong, 
I think through our third order, we could have the full thing in cash by Wednesday. Because think about it, it's $1,670. If we get 300 people to do that, you have the land purchased in cash. And I don't see how that's a difficult thing. It's always a stretch with money because money's always difficult because whenever you use it, you have less of it. That's always going to be a sacrifice. But is it worth, is it worth in our, in our, in our, in our desire to rebuild the church? Is it worth doing it? That's the question we have to ask. You know, I, <laughs> I mean, what can you say? It's a beautiful piece of property. And I said, even though I have some difficulty with uh, just being able to see things through, you know, like being able to visualize the actual completed product, I absolutely see the potential of this place. And I said, I will absolutely give you my money to, to, to fund this project because I absolutely think that it has all the potential in the world, the silence, the solitude, I mean, the beautiful, I mean, even just the, the sound of this running stream, I mean, it all just bespeaks of, of contemplation. And uh, I really think that this would be a great place for people to go to, uh, to just actually have some quiet and to have some reflection and to have some, uh, some right recreation. So I, uh, I don't know. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. So, you know, God's will be done. It'll also be austere because I don't want to build something with real. I want it to. I want to have. I want it to have all the amenities that are necessary. But I want the third order to be able to come and have a real retreat, where they're they're surrounded by God's beauty, but they're in a cell that is simple. It's simple with real wood that's really from a tree and <laughs> really got put on the wall and a real desk that's kind of rough and a bed that might not be the most comfortable, but it'll have heat and it'll have water. I think these are, we need to have the necessities, but we don't need to have luxury. And that will allow us to build something very nice, uh, meaning it can house everybody. We can have all the retreats we want to have and we can have places for people to come. So. The way, the way we calculated it, and this is the part people don't like to do, but you really just got to have, you got to talk to your friends and get them. Just talk them into giving the friars a cup of coffee, a one cup of coffee every day for a year. We get a thousand people to do that and we're done. There's no, there's no talking about money all the time because friars don't like doing that anyways. Uh, there's no worrying about it. There shouldn't be any worry. We just need to build the thing and we just need to do it right away.